Good morning, Class Six. I am Anil Bhagat, your science teacher from Modern International School, Hiswa. Welcome back to our e-learning program. Today, we will discuss about Chapter One, that is, revision of Chapter One. So, Chapter One is food. Where does it come from? So, in the Chapter One, we had discussed that. we eat different types of foods depending upon the area where we live means normally we eat the food which is available in our area so our food habits depend upon the availability of food in that particular area like right now i am in kolkata so what type of food i am eating so it is world famous that kolkata is the capital of west bengal and in west bengal fish is available in good amount means availability of fish is good here because of the coastal areas of this place and rivers in this state so people over here eat fish as a staple food fish and rice rice also because of the availability of river and rainfall so here people normally eat fish and rice and it is a very healthy diet too so same way if we move to punjab and see or, or like observe what people are eating over there so normally it is like wheat chapati or chapati of maize different type of vegetables milk pulses and chicken so their staple food is like this so it is like it depends upon the area of an individual that what type of food it uh, what type of food that individual is eating now the next thing is what are the different sources of food we are getting so simple there are two sources of food one is plant and the other one is animal source so plants what are the things we are getting we are getting cereals pulses oil seeds vegetables fruits medicines several other things we get from plants then comes the animals from animals we get milk and milk products egg and meat these are the animal sources of food even uh, oil also we get from animals so after that if you observe the fooding pattern of an animal suppose if you observe the uh, dish called kheer so in kheer we get rice and sugar raisins or kismis kaju or cashew nut a different type of ingredients from the plants and milk from the animals and then we prepare kheer kheer it is very healthy delicious tasty and most of us like to eat this food very well then comes the different different types of dishes so let's discuss plant sources from plants we get flowers like cauliflower and banana we are eating those as a vegetable and fruit next comes the root part that is beetroot sweet potato then comes the stem part like banana onion potato then comes the different different types of fruits and seeds we get from the plants so these are the different different sources of food we get from the plants and animals next comes there are two three categories of people depending upon the food they eat like first come the vegetarian they are eating fresh fruits vegetables i mean the plant products and also milk then comes the non vegetarian they eat both 
plants also and flesh of the animals milk egg etc now in today's world there is a new term called vegan vegan means this peoples only eat products of plants not even milk they don't even drink milk they eat, they uh, eat only plants and plant products so class this is our chapter 1 that is food where does it come from i hope you are able to understand this chapter the summary of this chapter go through the this chapter any problem ask me class have a great day be safe at home thank you